There are two options when it comes to having Gmail inside of Outlook. The first option is to have your Gmail emails in the same Outlook window or environment as your current emails. The second option would be to have a completely separate Outlook profile loaded for your Gmail emails. Before we continue, it's important to have IMAP enabled on your Gmail account. IMAP standing for Internet Message Access Protocol. To do this, open up gmail.com. Click on the gear icon at the top right hand side of the screen. Then click on settings. Now you will see a number of headings at the top. You will need to go ahead and click on forwarding and pop slash IMAP. When you're here, it's crucial to enable IMAP and make sure it's ticked. So not disabled, it has to be enabled. IMAP has to be enabled. Just remember that and you'll be fine. Once you've selected it and made sure it's enabled once again, at the bottom of the screen, click on Save Changes. This basically allows your Outlook to talk to your Gmail account. OK, so option one was allowing you to have your Gmail emails inside your current Outlook environment with a pre-existing email address. Go ahead and open up your Outlook if you haven't already done so. And then go to File at the top left of the screen. When you've clicked File, click on Add Account. You will now need to fill this window in with your name, email address and password of your Gmail account. And then once you proceed here by pressing Next, you'll see Outlook is completing the setup for your account on the screen. Basically, if you eventually see three green ticks, then you're good to go. If you don't, then it's more than likely something to do with you having an incorrect password. Once you see a message saying your IMAP email account is successfully configured, you can click on Finish. Now go back to your main Outlook window and you'll see on the left hand side there is another email address listed. And as a result, we have our Hotmail account and Gmail account in the same Outlook window. Let's say, for example, you don't want any of that. You just want to have your own Outlook just for Gmail, nothing else. This is easy to do as well. I like to do this by opening up the control panel and then clicking on the mail icon, which will be called something different depending on the version that you're using. In my case, mail Microsoft Outlook 2016. When you've clicked on this icon and the mail setup window appears, Click on Show Profiles, then click on Add. Choose a name. This is purely so you can identify which profile you're using, so it can be called anything. If you then see a Connect Outlook to Office 365 pop-up like this, just be sure to click on Connect to a different account at the bottom right-hand corner of the window. If you don't see that, no problem. Now, this window will appear again, exactly like we did in the first option. Fill these out with your name, email address and password. Wait for a success message, then click on Finish. Now you can choose whether or not to always use the Gmail profile or have an option of different profiles to use. So one could be your Gmail profile and one could be a work profile with various different emails in there. And that's basically it. Now go ahead and open up your Outlook and you'll see that just Gmail is configured for that particular profile. And that's all there is to it. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with a Gmail in Outlook tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.